Right, I've just walked up this side, I've decided to. There's lots of gnats about, which are getting in my throat. But um, there's lots of lovely scenes. That I've been doing lots of different photos, blurring and all sorts of things. God, just so lovely, look at that. First time I've been this side, actually. Look at the moss on the trees as well. I'm not going to risk going across that bit. I'm going to walk gently back. Because anyone comes now, um, I'll have to turn the video off anyway. But it's isn't this this is beautiful, isn't it? You know, do you know what I mean? This is absolutely beautiful. You can hear the birds. Lovely, lovely trees. Well, at least if anyone, if they come now for the afternoon, like people come for the afternoon walk, at least I've done a really nice video. And I've been on this side. I'm going to carry on back. I'll walk round. I've got to go up to the troll bridge yet. Just get a different perspective. Being this side as well and having the stream within um, ear range. Let's do a different perspective walking backwards, you see. It's beautiful, isn't it? The little bluebell. Not many bluebells on this section. There's one there, look, by that stump. I've been very fortunate. I've had the place to myself. Very, very fortunate. I got a feeling there's quite a few people coming back from here when I was at Black Rock. So I think I've been very, very lucky to have had this place all to myself for a good, uh, good, good few minutes. This is the most beautiful place, really, really is. The most beautiful place. I bet people have their ashes brought out here, you know. There are still pockets of bluebells in the sunshine.
lush green. See, of course, when I had Alberta, I'd never ever had to think about getting on. I could take my time on in the summer months like this. And sometimes I never got back to Cheddar to 8 o'clock and I would go and have um, my sausage and chips and a can of Coke and sit in the van after a beautiful day out without having to worry about times. That's the only good thing about having a video, really, is... Um, Now I'm just a, we're over the other side of it now. It has been videoed many, many times, don't forget. People sit here, this is where most people sit, and they cool their feet here. Dogs walk in here. And I was over that side a minute ago. Different perspective, you see this side? Look at that. Look at it. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you, anyone when anyone gets here and they see this, they never they never forget it. They never forget it. It's a beautiful, very. It's a very beautiful little oasis. This is. Now the thing is, this is his best time of year because this wood has got a habit of looking dead. If you know what I mean. <laughs> There are a lot of old and old trees, a lot of big majestic trees as well. Some beautiful big trees here. Absolutely gorgeous this place is. And the mosses on these broken branches, I mean they provide habitats for other creatures you know. Hello little tree. You're doing a good job. You've got some lovely, very... They look like they're ready for some rain, though. Don't you? They're ready for some rain. Look at you, old beardy. I'm on the troll bridge now. Lovely green leaves. Oh, you know, I'm just in heaven here. I am. I'm in heaven here. <sighs> Longwood Nature Reserve. <sighs> Why this place is a special place. In spring the woodland floor is carpeted with bluebells and ramsons, which is also known as wild garlic. Their flowers make a striking contrast of colours and fragrance. You may spot early purple orchids, wood anemone, and unusual herb plants. There's an orchid slope, common spotted orchid. A stream runs from the north into the wood and disappears below ground at Longwood Swallot into an extensive cave system before finally emerging at the lower end of Cheddar Gorge. You might be able to hear the distinctive sound of woodpeckers, green woodpeckers, with their laughing of chaffing calls. Often seen on anthills in the grassland looking for food. Deadwood is an important habitat both for invertebrates such as the unusual pink woodlouse and many species of fungi, including the scarlet elf cup. Fallen trees and some cut timber are left to decay where possible on the reserve. I'm going to take some more photos in a minute. I'll just go over here. Somewhere over here as well there's a, another pothole but um, I don't think it's locked. So we, people do have to be careful when they roam about here. Looking at all this water I'm really ready to have a good gulp of my new bottle. And I've been out to do a really lovely video today. It's making me really thirsty. It's really hot out of the wood. It'll be really, really hot. 
I don't know if many people even bother coming here. They certainly, well, some people will. Oh, it's so beautiful. But you know, I've been really, really hoping I could come here, you know. I kept saying to Zara, I really need to get to Longwood. Fortunately, the weird weather's allowed um, the wild garlic and, and some bluebells in some parts to, to remain because it's, um, everything's late because of the awful weather we had. We had a very long winter. Yeah, that tree's at it. It's still alive though. What they've done, they've left its stump because it provides nutrients to many creatures. And they've left its branches just to rot, to add nutrients to the soil. They haven't got a fire burning it all up here. They don't, they believe and they care about their woods. This is what you call a wood here. Look at this big old trunk, you see? One, it's like one big piece of bread, it's huge. A piece of meat. Providing food for all sorts of creatures. I'm not going up there, I'm just wanting to get a scene from about here before I get, start the, the walk back. Uh, there's a gate up there. I do come through that way sometimes when I come off the hills. When they say the hills are alive with the sound of music, it's true. Look at that lovely tree. God, it's gorgeous now. I'm going to turn off. I'll come back on again once I pass the stream area. I need to take photos. Over and out.